Atlanta-based interior designer and your host of this design series. Today with me, I have a fabulous design duo of Anishka Clark and Naya Bascombe of Ishka Designs. They're based out of New York and pretty much work everywhere, right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. Here at John Richard, they have a plethora of different styles yeah. and applications. And so what application of whether it be furniture or lighting um, kind of captured your eye most or spoke more to your design aesthetic? I think we probably were drawn mostly to this artist in terms of being able to translate her arts onto furniture and textiles yes, yes. in a very interesting way of blowing out the path, blowing out the artwork to create a textile is just like striking. The palette, the color palette is awesome. It's so restful and it yes. still speaks to that whole Caribbean feel. It works very well as like almost almost like a neutral for a New York City apartment as well, right? So even an urban life can I think we can work with this and edge it up a bit, you know? Yeah, so exactly. What are you hoping to see while you're here at High Point? Um, what are you hoping to see? Well, colors, shapes. Um, As you have on your black, but you want to see some Yes, yes. Right. 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 Well, that, that's well, exactly. Well, here you go. Right, right, exactly. <laughs> we were waiting right. for you, Erica. Um, yes. Organic. Well, yeah, I think oh, like yeah. It, speaking to shapes, too, mm -hmm. right? We're very much interested in abstraction right now. So, um, Which makes a lot of sense because you, you know, we're appealed. Um, Carol's work appeal to you yeah. in that yeah. sense. Right. So, even taking it a step further in shapes, too, right? So, like, and not just organic shapes, but how can you take more like, square angular pieces and mm -hmm. kind of turn them on its head? Thinking more outside the box, or even like sofa pieces or okay, chairs gotcha. or whatever, okay. just having like mm -hmm. a different kind of off center, right. off kilt kind of feel. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, natural, we're all about craftsmanship and the celebration of materials, so. Mm -hmm. You know, always wanting to see the wood shine. Yeah, sounds like when you talk about the wood. And so, woods are just beautiful for us. Details. Details are very important. Yeah, but not to the point thing. where we wanted to overpower anything. Mm -hmm. What we always want to see, no matter where we are, is like an ability for our simplicity to always rule. And seeing which designers are able to like make details work in a very simplistic way that it just yeah. doesn't feel overdone. Or so your overdone. appreciation is not just for the craftsmanship, but also for the silhouettes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Sometimes those layering things is just to kind of hide the, oh, you know, oh, hide so something. Good. Whereas, you know, if you peel it back and you continually yeah. edit, yeah. then you get to really the heart and the soul of the piece. I think we're going to be always doing that forever and amen, just yes. like, continually learning how to keep peeling it back and yeah. continually editing and curating the whole process. I told you there's nothing here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Quite possibly. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I... Simplistically yes. beautiful. That, yeah. That's All right. the goal. All right. All right. Well, thanks again for taking some yes. time Thank to you. Thank you. discuss right. design, some of our favorite things, and, yes. and marketing, yeah. and I will have that, I bet you don't, right? Yeah, I'm yes, kind of happy to have, like, toured the showroom and just, yes. like, seen some amazing stuff here, so... Yeah. Well, there is so much to see. Thanks. Thanks for coming out. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.